You know that feeling when your notes are everywhere and you can't tell what's important anymore? Back when I was studying, I had sticky notes literally everywhere. Stuck to my desk, bedroom walls, even the shower door. Desperate times indeed. In this video, I'm sharing 14 clever sticky note hacks to update how you take notes so you can study smarter and honestly just remember what you've read. So whether you're prepping for exams, trying to learn something new, or just want your notes to actually work for you, let's get started. When you're reading a dense article or digital textbook, it's easy to highlight everything and understand nothing. Instead, drop a sticky note next to the tricky part and rewrite it in your own words. If you can explain it simply, you actually understand it. Sometimes you don't need the whole explanation, you just need the point. Like, what's the big idea? Write the key takeaway on a sticky note and place it next to the section. When you review it later, your brain will lock onto it instantly. I used to spend so much time rereading full pages just to remember what they were even about. Not everything needs to be memorized, but some ideas do need to stand out. Ever get stuck on something and suddenly lose all your motivation? Instead of downward spiraling, drop a sticky note that says, ask in class, or Google later, or just figure this out. It turns confusion into a next step. If something's fuzzy, I just mark it and move on, then circle back when I've got more brain power. You can create a question of a day section at the end of each notebook with copied sticky notes, whether it's for class notes, reading reflections, or self-study. Write a question at the top of a sticky note and answer it in your head. Then you can tap the tape below to reveal the answer underneath. It's a mini active recall practice, which is great for remembering information. This is one of my favorite hacks now. Even years out of school, I can quiz myself with just my iPad. I've done this in cafes, on flights, waiting for meetings. Color is a magic memory tool. Color coding helps your brain sort and prioritize info super fast. It's visual shorthand for meaning. I still color code notes for work and learning because it just makes scanning so much faster. Match your sticky note colors with your highlighter scheme for easy visual scanning to reinforce that memory connection. Instead of cramming everything into your main notes, you can use sticky notes to add examples or formulas on the side. When I add real life examples beside a concept, I can retain it way better. It makes the info useful and not just abstract. Big blocks of text can be super intimidating, so break them down into manageable chunks using sticky notes with headers such as main idea, key concept, key point, concept one. Each sticky note becomes a checkpoint that makes reviewing so much easier. By chunking your lecture notes into manageable, visually organized sticky notes, you can tackle dense topics with ease. This method also allows for quick revision and the ability to identify any gaps in your knowledge. Step 1. 
Sticky notes make the best mind map tools. Place your big ideas on sticky notes and draw arrows and build out your branches. This mimics how ideas form in your brain, not in a straight line, but rather in a web. It's great for studying, but I still use this approach when mapping out projects or new ideas. Most knowledge is interconnected. So using sticky notes and hyperlinks to connect your topics across pages works so well. This helps you track patterns between ideas, especially when something finally clicks after weeks of learning. It's perfect for long-term projects, big picture learning, and making your notes so much smarter. You can easily add a page link using hyperlinks for faster navigation within your notebook. Sticky notes are great for reminders like review this section or summarize before Friday. They keep you engaged and help you follow through, especially when your brain wants to move on to the next shiny thing. Don't just highlight and forget. Add a side column of sticky notes that gives you specific next steps, such as research this, ask this question, find an example, or summarize later. It turns your notes into an action list that you can actually follow, not just info that you'll forget. Prioritizing helps you focus first on what's unclear, urgent, or likely to be tested. You can build confidence by tracking what you've already reviewed, and you can avoid being overwhelmed by breaking up your revision into levels of urgency. It's simply traffic lights for your brain. Red symbolizes urgent or maybe tough to understand, yellow needs reviewing, and green is good to go and you're confident about the information. Space repetition helps you remember by reviewing just before you forget. You can drop a sticky note that says review day one, review day three, or review day seven. This one has helped me move from cramming and forgetting to building real memory. Sticky notes are like these mini time reminders. You write your notes, then set up sticky note reminders to come back and review them just when you need to. In simple terms, space repetition is a clever way to help your brain remember things for a long time. It helps you build strong memories by reviewing in small bursts at just the right time. Instead of cramming all the info in one go, you review it a few times over increasing intervals. This method helps strengthen your memory and make sure that the information sticks with you. You can cover a diagram or a key section with a sticky note. Try to recreate or explain it before you collapse a sticky note to check. This is where you'll find out if you really understand it. Use this daily on any content you think you know. Build real recall, not just recognition. Which hack are you trying first? If you want more ways to upgrade your digital life, check out part one of this series. I'll link it below. Thanks for hanging out with me. Now go make those notes unforgettably good. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.